Hey everyone, Epic Edge back again with another password pull video, this time featuring the Geo Archon himself, Zhongli. In case you're relatively new to the game, Zhongli was originally released in patch 1.1, and back then he was a very good support character, but you know, a lot of people kind of missed that and just hyper focused on his lack of damage. So Mihoyo decided to buff his kit in patch 1.3. Now the question here is, are his buffs good enough to warrant you using your hard-earned Prima gems on this rerun? Let's find out. But you know, before we get into that, I just want to apologize again for the lack of video uploads recently. Uh, a lot has been going on in my day job and private life. I won't bore you with the details, but moving forward though, uh, I will do my best to upload a Genshin Impact video every week. Uh, I also plan to upload some Epic 7 content in the future as well. Uh, Epic 7 is my other main gacha game right now and it should be some good fun. As for the kind of content I'll be creating for that, uh, I'll mostly be doing PvE guides, team comps, and some RTA. That's mostly because uh, <clears throat> you know I'm not ultra competitive in that game. I play it a lot for fun just like Genshin Impact. And if you're interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about Zhongli's kit. So first we have his normal attack, Reign of Stone. It's very similar to what you would expect from other pole arm users. And <clears throat> the multipliers on this is not all that high. As you can see here at level seven, which is, uh, I feel like the standard for a lot of people who don't wanna hyper invest in their units, uh, the multipliers aren't very good. <laughs> They're not very high. Uh, even the charge attack only goes up to 175% at level seven. That's not mind-boggling, and it kind of gives you a clue, you know, it hints you at the kind of character that Zhongli is. So you're not really going to be using his normal attacks very much, his charge attacks very much. So because of that, let's not talk about this too much, and let's go straight into the next skill. <clears throat> his elemental skill, Dominus Lapidus, um, is one of those skills where you can actually activate in two ways. You either tap it or you hold it. If you tap it, <clears throat> it'll create this pillar as you can see here. And every now and then the pillar will um, do periodic AOE Geo damage. Um, what makes this skill pretty cool is that if you're using other Geo characters such as Ningguang or Albedo who create Geo constructs as well, um, if it's near enough these uh, uh, pillars, it will resonate and the, the other characters uh, constructs will also start dealing AOE Geo damage. So if you're using the Geo Traveler, you're using Ningguang, you're using Albedo, their skills create constructs and if you're close enough to Zhongli, it will create um, a chain of uh, AOE Geo damage. Now if you hold it, <clears throat> and please do take note that this uh, what you're seeing on the screen here is um, from his original release and this has actually changed. So if you hold this, you give Zhongli a shield, right? Which in general for Geo characters is a great thing. But what has changed here is that if you hold it, you still actually create like the stone seal, uh, steel. So that's like the pillar. So you're getting the, um, the first effect along with the shield, which is really pretty good, right? <clears throat> so, you know, um, they kind of changed it and so to make his damage output a little more consistent. But if you go down here, you'll see that the uh, damage isn't exactly all that great, right? So the resonance damage is, you know, relatively minor 48 percent not amazing but it does add up quite a bit you know if you're playing with a lot of geo characters in your team the whole damage not environment not very impressive as well and <clears throat> um you know it's okay right um so you kind of want to do this by having multiple geo characters in your team and take advantage of the Geo Resonance, right? Which provides bonus damage if the character has a shield, which is actually something great with this skill. The shield is actually pretty thick, <laughs> okay? And so Zhongli actually is 
a bruiser of sorts because of this skill. Now, onto his elemental burst, Planet Befall. This is what makes Zhongli such a great support, in my opinion, because this Petrify skill is so interesting, right? So he'll summon a Meteor there, bang, deals an insane amount of damage. And I don't know if you'll notice here, but like they, the, the Haley Trail has turned to stone, right? And that's the kind of like the effect. And this, I think, is what makes Zhongli, again, so good. And the damage is... <laughs> The damage is actually pretty nice you know um 704 percent at level seven that, that's not small right <clears throat> if you build your zhongli for damage that's gonna hurt and the skill seems so simple it's so direct to the point but sometimes that's just the best thing you know okay so overall uh zhongli's new kit gives him a little more consistency with his damage and from what we're seeing here, I believe you can kind of play Zhongli similar to Hu Tao. Sorry, camera froze for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, um, as of this recording, there hasn't been an official banner yet. But all we know is that Zhongli will be the featured 5-star and Yan Fei, a brand new Pyrocatalyst user, will be one of the 4-stars. With all of that into consideration you know let's go on to the verdict pass or pull honestly uh i think zhongli is a pass at this point and you know before you uh go off on the comments let me explain okay uh, i will start out by saying that the pass verdict is not an indication of how good he is and that's because zhongli is very strong and is a great in the support slash sub dps role especially if you have a very good um, albedo or a very good ningguang or even a geo traveler for that matter um if you end up pulling a zhongli if you choose to roll on his banner for whatever reason you shouldn't be disappointed if you get him because he's good he's really good however just this is just my opinion zhongli isn't exactly a meta defining unit and what i mean by that is that he isn't going to change the way you see genshin impact and to make this uh make a little more sense you know uh he's not like ganyu impact levels right if you remember when ganyu came out you know, everyone was just rocking Ganyu. Ganyu, 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 Ganyu. And so start, people started calling Genshin Impact Ganyu Impact. Like, Ganyu delivered so much um, more than what people expected it to do. And she pretty much changed the game, right? <clears throat> uh, Zhongli's not like that. And, you know, there's also the matter of Zhongli being quite dependent on having other geo characters in the team comp to really get the most out of his kit so if you don't have ningguang or you don't have albedo or you did not build your geo aether slash lumine you're not going to be able to maximize what zhongli brings to the table now if you're willing to go invest in those characters then zhongli this, this point is like you know you can just throw it out the window right but if you're not really willing to um build up your traveler you're not willing to build up your four star ningguang or you missed out on albedo zhongli is only operating at i don't know let's say 60 percent of what he can do <clears throat> now even the presence of a brand new four star like uh yanfei uh it's it's not really enough to convince me to part with my Prima gems, you know. Uh, I think Yanfei is a good substitute for those who don't have Kli, you know, like myself. But the thing is, you can still get her after this banner. Like the moment uh, the Zhongli banner disappears, she will be in the permanent summon pool. So you can get her that way. So there's no real like sense of urgency to get her right away unless you really 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 want to have a pyro catalyst user on your team 
And, you know, to make things worse, <laughs> there is a brand new five star coming right after Zhong Li. You may have heard of her. You know, uh, she's, uh, she's called Yula. And I'm kind of seeing a bit of a gap in the power level between her and Zhong Li. You know, of course, they have like different roles, but from everything we know so far about Yula, she just seems like she'll be giving you better value if you were to spend, say, if you had to spend like 10,000 Prima Gems to get Zhong Li and 10,000 Prima Gems on Yula, in my opinion, like the value of the 10,000 Prima Gems you spent on Yula far exceeds what you get from Zhong Li. <clears throat> so, you know, taking all of these factors into consideration, I'm, I'm going to have to say that Zhong Li is a pass. And it sucks because Zhang Li is actually a pretty good character. So, you know, unless you really love Geo as an element, I think you should hold on to your Prime Gems until the next banner. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's my verdict. But what's yours? You know, uh, will you still pull for Zhang Li? Or are you more excited for Yulo? You know, let's talk about it in the comments below. And that's gonna do it for this video. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps out small YouTubers like myself and I will be eternally grateful. And as always, thank you so much for watching and until the next video, stay up.